Hey, Fruit Bats. So we've definitely been covering some shitty topics lately, literally. So I thought I'd continue on with that and show you how I squat on the toilet. Well, I don't always squat like that. I sometimes use a squatty potty, as you can see underneath my feet, that bit of plastic. I'll put my feet up on that or else... Yeah, I've definitely squatted on a lot of toilets, but look, you have to be careful, all right? People have been known to break toilets, so you've got to keep in mind your weight and the stability of the toilet and just think about it before you get up there because it could be very, very dangerous. You can Google actually some pretty bad accidents, but it is super, super healthy for your colon. It is so good for your digestion, your colon elimination, everything like that. So I just want you to watch this quick little snippet from this amazing video. I'll put a link to the video in the description below as well. It's showing the importance of squatting when it comes to delivering a fluffy fruity floater in the toilet. Many people today remain unaware that sitting toilets pose a danger to their health and well-being. Today a growing number of medical experts say humans are designed to squat to eliminate. It all comes down to positioning. Squatting releases pressure on the rectum and makes it easier to defecate. Sitting in a western style toilet means you're pushing against your own muscles. Many doctors say that squat toilets reduce the chances of constipation, hemorrhoids and even bowel cancer. Research shows that a bathroom posture plays a bigger role in these ailments than a lack of dietary fibre. Stanford University has revealed a new study that shows squatting is the proper and recommended way to go to the bathroom. So, what is the big difference between the two positions? Sitting on the modern style western sit-down toilet is designed to place your knees at a 90 degree angle to your abdomen. Sitting on a squatting toilet, your body is placed at a 35 degree angle. Neuroscientists say when a person squats, his or her thighs are pressed against the lower abdomen. The action of these thighs supports the colon and causes the pressure inside the abdominal cavity to increase. The resulting natural pressurization of the colon facilitates waste evacuation. In the squatting position, the pelvis is also suspended like a cradle and the buttock opens up to expose the anus. Squatting does what sitting cannot do. It releases the kink in the anal canal. This straightens the final pathway between the rectum and the anus, making it easy for the waste to pass out easily and completely. However, in the sitting position, the kink, the bend between the rectum and the anal canal is not released. The abdominal and colon is also deprived of any support from the thighs. As a result, a person using the seated posture for defecation is forced to hold the breath and strain and push downwards for waste evacuation. Yet, evacuation can never be complete, resulting in accumulation and hardening of residual wastes in the lower regions of the colon. All this opening of the buttocks, straightening of the anal canal, beneficial increase in the abdomen and hence compression of the colon can only take place in the squatting position. The result is easier, faster and more complete bowel movements. Okay, so wasn't that awesome? Just make sure you check out the rest of the video. The link is in the description below. And that's definitely one of my secrets to having a flat belly as well. Getting up on that potty and squatting. Try it. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it fascinating, give us a thumbs up and leave any comments below that you have and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. So a bit of a pro tip here, I recommend that you aim for the porcelain, like when you're in the squatting position, <laughs> aim for the porcelain because if you if you deliver it directly into the water, you're going to get splashback. Okay, so to avoid splashback, aim for the porcelain.